We want to welcome you to the video podcast that was voted one of the best in the marketing research industry in 2019 and again in 2020. And this year, it's been designated by Feedspot as one of the best places on YouTube to go to if you're looking for up-to-date market research information. This is Research Business Daily Report. We're seen most weeks, and we present a news item that most likely has not been seen or heard about before. We do rely on viewer support and hope that you'll pitch in at patreon.com slash rbdr. A little bit more about that later. I'm Bob Letter in my 27th year as the respected voice in market research. First of all, I need to thank each and every one of you for your patience, because in recent weeks, as you may know by now, I had to face off against COVID not once, but twice first during late June and then during early July. And although my symptoms were not necessarily painful, they did sap my energy. And in fact, they continue to do so for some degree. And they isolated me from my loved ones. On to today's report, which is based on the tweet that we sent out in late June about the Media Research Council deciding to re-up Executive Director George Ivey for five additional years. Ivy agreed to an interview with Media Post, and Editor-in-Chief Joe Mandizi published that information. We found it here at RBDR to be found to be full of fact-filled information. In fact, here's one fun fact I had no idea about. The Market Research Council was created by Congress and the U.S. Department of Justice, and it serves as a neutral independent industry watchdog that is supposed to ensure even-handed audience measurement. Well, I know about measuring, but I had no idea that the government had anything to do in setting up MRC. Ivy explained his contract renewal as a reaction to all the industry turmoil about media measurement and MRC's determination to lock in skilled, experienced leadership to deal with it all. Select companies are attempting to establish their own metrics that measure customer relationships they have. And yet MRC's goal is setting industry-wide standards while judging simultaneously whether any individual company's research process is in fact verifiable. Quote, the independent nature of what we do at MRC is now more important than ever, states Ivy. He pointed out researchers changing attitudes towards panels is one great example. Two years ago, Ivy was told by researcher after researcher that panels were useless, but today they are said to be essential to formulating cross-media measurement. Positive developments taking place at MRC now are really probably not that publicly known, but Google, Facebook, Amazon, Walmart, Snap, and Pinterest are all cooperating with MRC and auditing of their products and services. Quoting again, as long as they submit their metrics, declared Ivy, I can verify them. Ivy revealed an incomplete checklist of issues in front of MRC in coming years. They include measurement metrics to use as companies select providers. However, the organization is in particular pursuing four big things. One, an updated in-game advertising measurement standard. Second, CTV or connected TV. These are any kind of device that connects to or is embedded in a television to support video content streaming. MRC is auditing more and more of those such vendors. A third is outcome measurement. This is a tool that assesses a healthcare patient's current status, but it also encompasses, in media terms, attention metrics. Last, but obviously not least, is cross-media measurement that needs to test new offerings, such as one from Nielsen One, Comscore CCR, VideoAmp, and a process being constructed as we speak by the Association of National Advertisers. All of these are supposed to assure media users of exactly what they are receiving for the money they are spending. That's a wrap on this edition of the Research Business Daily Report, which we hope you will become a supporter of. We call it a Patreon supporter, and that means agreeing to provide a monthly contribution. 
Please visit our exclusive crowdfunding platform at patreon.com slash rbdr. And when you get there, you can select whatever level of support works for you and that you think we deserve. And whatever that may happen to be, we say thank you in advance. We hope you have a good research day, and we'll be seeing you later this week. Until then, and something I can personally advise you now to do, is please stay safe.